Hello, everyone. Today I will present World's Historical Gazetteer and a newly developed data format, Linked Places. World's Historical Gazetteer, I'll call it WHG now, is an ambitious project. Its main product is a web software platform for publishing and linking historical place data sets. It also provides reconciliation services that help researchers create gazetteers that can be contributed to our platform and it shows great promise for teaching applications. WHG is fully functional. It was launched in 2020 and version 2 was released earlier this year. That said, it is not what we call feature complete. Much can be done to extend its functionality and improve usability. We consider it a work in progress. The WHG project is based at the World History Center at the University of Pittsburgh. Both the Center and the WSC project are directed by my colleague and co-author, Ruth Mostern, a historian of China and a world historian. Support for our first three years of development came from the National Endowment for the Humanities, and for version two from the Humanities Cluster in the Netherlands called Conabe. In our paper, we briefly describe a moonshot vision of a time-enabled mapping application able to display the settlement of the Earth over the span of human history. That theoretical end product of this work would take many years to achieve if it is even possible. But as a piece of DH infrastructure, WSC could hold all of that information. More realistically, we've begun by addressing a few use cases of interest to DH researchers and instructors. The initial use cases for the WHG platform are as follows. Researchers studying the past from many humanities and social science disciplines are very interested to map their sources in order to visualize and analyze the locations and distribution over time of the phenomena they're studying. To do this, they need to extract the place names found in their sources and resolve their location. Our reconciliation services can assist in this process, finding geometry and concordances in Wikidata and the Getty Thesaurus of Geographic Names, known as TGN. Researchers who create place datasets, often a very time-consuming task, want to share those research products with others, adding them to the growing linked open geodata cloud. But not everyone has the resources to stand up their own web presence to do that. WHG serves as a data publisher for these relatively smaller projects and datasets. WHG contributions consist of source attestations of places. We publish contributed datasets as discrete entities, but the last step of accessioning links each record for a given place with others found for the same place in a union index. More about that later. Groups of researchers whose work covers overlapping territories and regions have begun forming communities of interest in part to link their place data with that of their colleagues. WAC is encouraging and supporting such groups so they can assemble what we call focused domains within the WAC platform. Groups we are working with now include ones for Dutch history, for the historical Middle East, and for colonial Latin America. Finally, we've begun looking for ways WHG can be used in teaching at the secondary and university levels, and we are now collaborating with teachers to develop lesson plans. Contributions to WHG come from many projects, each of which has its own way of modeling places. Researchers naturally gather and structure their data in a way that suits their project, their conceptions, addressing their questions. We needed a common format for contributions, so we collaborated with several colleagues to develop the Linked Places format. Linked Places models place attestations. Each attestation can include any number of names, geometries, types, relations to other places, links to other place records, descriptions, and depictions. Linked Places is based on GeoJSON, and it conforms to JSON-LD a syntax of RDF, so it is a good citizen of the linked data ecosystem. Linked Places extends GeoJSON, 
by introducing a when element that can be used to temporally scope an entire feature or any of its dynamic attributes, things about a place that can change over time, its names, geometries, types, or relations. For WHG, most elements of the format are optional. Only a single name, its source, and an attestation date are absolutely required. Many other elements are highly encouraged. The WHG platform is a Django Python project that makes extensive use of several JavaScript libraries, including MapLibre, Leaflet, and TurfJS. It has two data stores a Postgres relational database, and an Elasticsearch index. Datasets are uploaded to the database initially and maintained there, with permanent identifiers minted for each record. A further accessioning step indexes its records as JSON documents, linking them with others using the parent-child structure offered by Elasticsearch. The first record indexed for a place is tagged as a parent, a new record identified by its creator as being a close match to it is tagged as its child. In this way, WHG is assembling, over time, a union record for each attested place, effectively a named graph composed of records from one or more datasets. Individual datasets do always remain as discrete entities within the database. They can be made public and queried prior to the final accessioning step. The WSU website includes search functionality with several pre- and post-result filtering options. Searches can be performed against the union index described earlier or against all public datasets in the database. Search facets include name, feature class and type, attested year, and spatial containment. The pages for public datasets and dataset collections present maps and individual record details for simple browse and search. In order to enhance and upload a dataset and prepare it for future accessioning, dataset owners can initiate reconciliation tasks, seeking matches with either Wikidata, Getty TZN, or both. WSG maintains locally indexed copies of several million Wikidata and TGN records for this purpose. Our matching algorithm uses the context provided in contributed records to find the most likely matches with Wikidata and TGN. Context can include name variants, place class and type, and any location information provided, coordinates containing modern countries, or a user-defined study area. Potential matches are then presented in a review screen where the owner and designated collaborators step through each record, deciding if any of the hits for it are in fact close matches, as defined by the SCOS close match relation. When a match is approved, its geometries and any associated concordance identifiers are added to the contributed record in the database, effectively augmenting that dataset. The last step of the session involves a similar reconciliation task, this time to our union index. The creation of focused domains mentioned earlier is supported by the collections feature. A collection can be defined by any registered user as a set of two or more datasets that have been flagged as public. Datasets need not have been accessioned into the WHG index to be added and can come from multiple sources and creators. Two collections now in progress are public and visible. Dutch history so far includes six data sets beginning to indicate the footprint of Dutch colonialism. HGIS de las Indias has two data sets covering 18th century colonial Latin America. The newly formed Middle East Data Alliance is planning to link data sets from dozens of source projects within the WHC platform. Because WHG was conceived from a world historical perspective, representing connections between places is an important motivation. Trace annotations are an experimental feature and another way of representing connection. We define traces as any historical phenomena of interest, events, people,
people, objects, and so on. Trace data are web resources that in some way describe trace phenomena and have permanent URIs. Trace annotations are records annotating those resources with URIs for places that were related to the trace in some way. By accessioning trace annotation data, WHG is able to display on its place portal pages links to resources that concern the place in some way. For example, journeys for which it was a waypoint, associated people, objects for which it was a find spot, and texts or images for which it is a subject. WHG is a work in progress. There are challenges we are currently meeting and extensive plans for enhancements and features to meet more use cases. Making a conversion export of a project's place data in linked places format places a burden on researchers. More and better tools, helpers, and documentation for this are essential. We're building tools to guide users through conversion of their data from the limited text, spreadsheets, RDF, Geo packages and OpenStreetMap formats into linked places compatible files WSG can parse. The four part structure of the linked places win element time span, with its earliest, latest ranges for both start and end, helps to represent uncertainty with respect to dating. Also, geometries can be tagged as certain, less certain, or uncertain. However, cartographic representations for these remain a challenge and are currently an area of collaborative experimentation. Two challenges shared by virtually all DH infrastructure projects are ongoing institutional support and technological upkeep. Our collaborative partnership with the Dutch Humanities Cluster and several groups within the University of Pittsburgh are steps towards building an international supporting consortium Permanent support can ensure technology updates are performed as required. A new section of the WHG site being prepared now will present an overview of how place data, and WHG specifically, can be used in teaching at secondary and post-secondary levels, as well as lesson plans making use of existing WHG features. Link Places format is valid JSON LD and therefore valid RDF, but it introduces a number of terms for entities and property. The creation of a Link Places ontology to formally define those terms is underway. Currently, collections are defined as a set of public datasets. We will allow collections to also be created by tagging individual records discovered through browse and search activity and we will expand our collection level search and download capabilities. The current trace data examples were manually added to the system. We will enable the routine uploading of trace data sets and significantly enhance the mapping, search, and browse functionality for them. We're planning to host historical mapathons where small groups can extract features from geo-referenced old maps using new crowdsourced feature extraction tools and bring data directly into WHC. To summarize, World Historical Gazetteer is an ambitious project that is distinct from existing place name resources by having these seven qualities in combination. It has global geographic coverage. It includes structured and granular temporal information. Its records are cited attestations of place references by researchers. It serves as a linked data publishing platform for datasets without web presence. Its union index links multiple attestations for places, effectively linking projects and disciplines. It provides faceted record level search across datasets. It provides machine access via APIs. Thank you for your attention. I'm happy to answer questions and to respond to any email inquiries.